Earlier today, the community and state college marched in search of justice for Osaze Osaji. It's been nearly two years after his death, which occurred during a mental health warrant served by the state college police. Our Devin Jackson shows us the motivation behind the march. The chalk on this street just outside of the Allen Street gates is a culmination of a march to honor Osaze Osagi nearly two years after his death. No justice, no peace. No Led by three 20 coalition leaders, the community gathered in State College this evening to continue to push for justice in the death of Osaze Osagi and hold officers involved accountable as part of the 320 coalition's 10 days of action. We've been demanding justice for two years and we're not going to stop until we get justice for Osaze. It's very important that we continue to center his life and to center what happened to, to, so that he doesn't become just a lost statistic. The march began right outside of the municipal building where they chanted and made their way down Allen Street and stopping at the apartment complex where Osagi was killed by State College Police on the night of March 20th, 2019. Justice for By bringing everyone back to this spot to let you really truly grasp the fact that this happened right here. Not that far from downtown, not that far from the university. It happened right here. And we just felt like out of respect, um, it was only right to, to, to march there. The march would conclude at the Allen Street gates where allies of the organization share their thoughts on the death of Osagi and chalk the intersection of Allen Street and College Avenue. It's not a matter of race, it's a matter of right, right and wrong because these people are standing here in solidarity with us. And 20 years from now, they'll be on the right side of history. On Saturday, the 320 Coalition will be hosting a day-long festival to honor Osagi on the two-year anniversary of his death. Reporting in State College, Devin Jackson, WTAJ News.